It came from the attic. Want to impress your friends with your own Lamborghini? Then squeeze into this baby. A G2 Sideswipe. No rub signs found here. He's an Autobot through and through. Did anyone get the tag number on that car? There's been a hit and run. Nothing to see here but good old Italian engineering. <coughs> Whoa, Sideswipe. Put on a shirt. Can you say convertible? Give it a little stretch. Shoulders out, Sideswipe. Put her there, buddy. All right, spread them. Nice shoes. Chin up, kiddo. All this baby needs is a fresh wax and an air freshener. Evil. We're here at Kohl's. Don't ask why. Let's see what we can find. Wow. They went literal. Don't tell your mom, Russ. Oh, Hannah means family. I'm glad they put cow and chicken on there. I feel like that's one of the lesser known cartoon cartoons. Feel the burn. When you've been on a squishy bender. That's no fugazi. That's a beautiful thing. Cool. I just started watching Super. I'm on episode five or six. And I'm guessing that it just covers what the movies did. And Baby said, Dance, magic dance. Marty, we gotta go back in time. That's actually a pretty sweet shirt. Evil. We're here at Target. The wonderful Todd McFarlane Spider-Man. Flash. Oh, savior of the universe. No World of Nintendo standalone figures. Actually, wait. Villager. Target's got these four packs for clearance. Target's got a lot of clearance, actually. There you are, beautiful. Soon. Flashback Isle. Breath of the Wild Zelda Amiibo. These are what Amiibos they have. Bayonetta, Daisy, Corrin. Look at what that trash compactor did to Shredder. I've been seeing these lately in beat em ups videos. Pretty cool. Now for my mini topics. Mini topic number one. I just watched the newest episode of Game of Thrones, season seven, episode four. Warning! Spoilers are about to commence. And what an episode. We got to see so many reunions. It finally happened. Arya is back in Winterfell. She's finally back with Sansa and Bran, and I can't wait until Jon Snow comes back to meet her. I hope the show doesn't take that away from me. Ugh. Theon Greyjoy and Jon Snow met back up. Quite a tension there, but it really went nowhere so far. And how about that battle between the Dothraki and the Lannister army with Drogon coming in with Daenerys riding him, and then Bronn was in there with the Ballista. <laughs> Got Drogon right in the shoulder. Oh my goodness. I knew they weren't going to kill Drogon that quickly, but I was worried that Bronn was going to die. You want to know something about me? Bronn is my favorite character ever since he first appeared. I love Bronn. I think he's an awesome character. Bronn has the highest kill-death ratio of anyone in Game of Thrones. Remember the Battle of Blackwater Bay? <laughs> he's badass. And then when Daenerys was pulling the bolt out of Drogon and Jaime started to ride towards her with the spear, I was like, oh my god, Jaime's gonna die. I don't want Jaime to die. I like Jaime. Of course, Bronn at the last second saves Jaime and throws him into the water, but sadly Jaime has plate armor on. So Jamie is sinking to the bottom of the river. Will they be saved? Will Jamie and Bronn be Daenerys' prisoners of war? We gotta see next episode. Mini topic number two. Netflix just announced that by 2019, all Marvel, Disney, Star Wars, and Pixar films will be taken down from their streaming services because Disney plans to launch their own streaming service by that time. It wasn't too long ago that we were told that Netflix was going to be the home of Disney movie releases. It was too good to be true. But of course, it's just another 10 to $15 to spend per month just to watch stuff. Oh well. Evil. That's it for today's vlog, guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's just another vlog to touch base with you. We've got a lot of awesome content coming in future vlogs. I can't wait to show you guys. I think you'll love it. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next vlog. What?